The government of Antigua and Barbuda has secured funds from the World Bank to finance preparatory activities for the public and social sector transformation PSST project. The development objectives of the PSST project are to strengthen government capacity in managing public policies and the public service, promote an integrated social protection system and improve the income and employability of vulnerable populations through temporary employment and training programs. The preparatory activities include conducting a survey to collect data to structure and implement active labor market programs. Larissa Francis reports. The Labor Department is improving the effectiveness of the existing new work experience program and one-stop job center with interventions to increase the unemployability of the low-income unemployed population between the ages of 17 to 50 years old. The new work experience program will be complemented by two programs, a temporary unemployed program, TEMP, and a training program. The TEMP will provide income support to the less experienced, low-income, unemployed citizens through a temporary job plus training in basic life, employment, and vocational skills. The implementation of both programs will benefit roughly 900 low-income, unemployed citizens over the three-year period. All beneficiaries will be identified and selected by the Ministry of National Security and Labor through the One Stop Job Center based on a targeted instrument that will evaluate income levels and the employability of the applicants. In preparation for the ALMP's employers will be asked to participate in an employer skill demand survey. The ESDS will provide the Labor Department with relevant information about the skills employers require but have difficulty recruiting. The ESDS will be conducted in collaboration with the Statistics Department where the completed questionnaires will be processed. The Labor Market Consultant will analyze the data and prepare a comprehensive report for the Labor Department. The report will include at a minimum. The temporary employment program is expected to open in July 2013. The training program is expected to open in January 2014. Larissa Francis reporting for ABS News.